What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Seth the Line Surgeon. And I'm um, about to work on my uh, tiller. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know I've been working on this tiller. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might miss out on a lot of stuff. So anywho, um, let me show y'all what I'm working with. Alright, there you go. Um, I'll see if I can find some pictures and put it on the screen over here. But this is the tiller I've been working on. Um, when I first got it, I got it from a lady for free. I'll put a link to the video on the screen too. I got it from a lady for free. When I first got it, I brought it home. It started right up. All I had to do was change the oil, put a new gas, and it started right up. So I thought it was good. Then I let it sit over the winter time. So I'm thinking like the ethanol must have messed up the carburetor. So then basically every time I started it the uh, it will, the engine will flood but you know instead of me just going out buying a new tiller I'm like this is one you know this is a perfectly good tiller like these old old stuff equipment that stuff is made to last you know what I mean it's made out of good materials not like this stuff today so that's what I did so I took this motor off and I planned on putting my um, polling motor on there see if that would fit over there I don't know if this thing will focus. The polling motor, some I don't got a light. There you go. The polling motor. I took that off, but the shaft, it wouldn't. Uh, it wasn't the same size. So, um, my friend, um, uh, Romeo. Shout out to Romeo. I'm put a link to his channel on the screen. He doesn't do lawn care, but he's into. Um, into um, um, guns and, and weapons and stuff like that. Um, his channel is Real People, Real Guns. He knows everything about guns, anything. So if y'all are into guns, any people that's into guns and stuff like that, follow him. Uh, but um, I had gave him this motor because I found this at the dump for free. It was on the, on the deck, but it didn't have no handle. And he got it running. And so he had it at his house for like a year. And so... The shaft fit, but now I need a, a key. If you see on this motor, it has like a notch on the side of it. Yeah, see that little key thing sticking out? Had that, so he gave me one. So I need that to put on there. I put it in this little, this little um, taquitos thing, <laughs> so I wouldn't lose it. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna put that on there. And then I think it should be ready to go on there. The cool thing about this, uh, um, shoot, what is it like? There we go. The way this works is you saw that circle, circle piece on the bottom of there. When I put this into gear, that raises up. So it raises up and it creates a friction to turn this and then the, uh, the tiller part starts turning. So hopefully it works. We're gonna see. There it goes. Shout out to my uh, boy Romeo. Helped me put this together. He's like a mad scientist. If y'all see, I'm going to put up some pictures. Let me see. I'm going to put them like up here. This is what, what he did was, um, if y'all, I'm going to put up a picture of the old tiller. The old tiller had like a block. And that motor was had a longer shaft. So this motor the shaft wasn't as long but it wasn't short enough for us to just set it straight on there so I still needed some space so what he did was 
he cut off the the mounting area from the old deck. The old deck was green. If you see right here, that's the green mountain deck. He cut that off. And then I went to Lowe's and I got this pipe. So he cut the pipe to size and measured it to mount it up high enough so that it um so that is the shaft is the right distance away from the um, the um, pulley the friction mechanism thing and um, <clears throat> so when you engage it it's the right distance away <clears throat> and then he welded those pieces of pipe on to the green uh, the green part that he cut off then he um, we mounted it up here <laughs> and then it doesn't and then as you can see it was for a lawnmower so it had this part right here holding the throttle so he put like a kill switch right here and you just press it press it to the um, spark plug and it cuts it off it's crazy I think I'm gonna call this Franken tiller <laughs> the Franken tiller because he took the old body and put a new brain on it. But I'm about to go... I'm about to go do a job at a house next to a house that I need this for. I cut down some bushes. I got a stump grinder and I grinded it out. But I just need to till up the flower bed area. So I might get some footage of that. But uh, yeah. It has a little oil leak on it. So I just got to make sure I check the oil regularly. Um... But yeah, other than that, bad boy's good to go. Oh yeah, plenty of oil. Alright, well, I'm about to head out. Let's go. Alright, so as you can see, there's the tiller with the um, awesome mount that my friend built me. So, um, and here is the motor. What happened is, I don't know if you all can see it, but the like flywheel like completely collapsed. And not the flywheel, but the starting stuff, the starting uh, coil. All the plastic pieces in the middle of the starting coil collapsed because the flywheel was so hard to pull. Not to mention it had a ridiculous oil leak. Y'all can see that all that oil, it just leaked oil so I had to constantly be putting oil in it. So What I'm doing is I broke out the old um, transformer. And um, I measured the shaft and it's the same size so I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Uh, see if I can get this transformer engine in it this is like one of the best running engines that I got probably next to my um, my um, the craftsman Dang. too dark there you go the yard vac that thing is a beast but this one right here it starts one pull almost every time <laughs> it's freaking awesome Anywho, I'm going to finish getting done.
almost got shocked.